Hey, in this video we're going to show you what's inside of gas mask filter, new version of GBL speaker and other interesting stuff. It happens quite often in movies or real life we see gas masks and it has quite big filters. And I was always curious what's inside of it because it has a lot of space. To reveal a mystery, knife or metal will get handy. Oh, it was really hard to cut a casing or filter. It was pretty strong metal. But after 20 minutes of pain, we finally got to opposite sides of a filter and tried to open it. From it came out some black granules, looks like gunpowder. There were a lot. I hope it won't explode. In the end, we figured its structure put it to its place and ready to show content of filter. Air gets through a filter from those holes and enters on thick corrugated material. I don't know what's inside of it, but it's really soft and at the same time dense. This filter takes aerosol, meaning micro droplets that float on filter. Next goes through its floated frame plate from thin filter which doesn't allow granules fill this net and get to previous section. Above it there are granules, they are sorbent granules, but I still can't figure out what it's made of. Looks like coal. Probably these granules get the massive impact on cleaning from dangerous substances. This filter should be really good. It protects from breathing dust from that black sorbent. After traveling in Asian countries, I picked up this kind of souvenir, a cat waving its paw. Come on, come on. They say that paw brings happiness and money to owner. It works from solar batteries, but no mechanism looking inside of a gap. Let's look what's inside of a pussycat. Take off lower cover and what's here? Tiny microcircuit. From it goes thin, almost invisible wires. Let's see. And what we see here? Motor with a magnet. But where is the motor? Look inside of a cat, we found magnet on inner part of a paw. Here what it is. Probably on coil periodically goes electric current, which with designed frequency attracts magnet to paw. That's how it moves getting you luck. Remember we showed you this cool pump for bicycles that work from battery. And it can even inflate car wheel. We were curious how engine, pump and accumulator can fit in this compact casing. Obviously we will disassemble it. Taking off stopper, unscrew bolt and literally squeeze all content with fingers. We see micro circuit with buttons and display. And we already see some elements. Let's continue. And now we can see everything. Here's tiny but probably powerful engine, which transmits torque to small pistons using few gears. Everything is tiny and delicate. Try to turn on. Oh, that's how it works. So, where's battery? Oh, it's hit behind main circuit. And it's two AA batteries. It might have power to pump pressure several atmospheres. Now, the most important thing to put everything back. And now probably the most interesting object from this video. Two years ago we disassembled this popular Bluetooth speaker. But new version came out and we wonder are there any differences between them or manufacturer put same stuff but with different name. Because it looks really similar. Like last time we carefully take off cover of speaker, unscrew two cocks, after that take off completely. I don't get it, why only one speaker instead of two? Maybe it's just a fake? Though it doesn't seem like because everything made qualitatively. 
We were puzzled, if they remove second speaker then it should sound quieter. That's not what it is. Taking off speakers on both units, we got that the new version has one speaker, but it sounds better than two from old version. Just compare its size and especially the size of magnets. This big speaker gives 30 watt, and these two small ones only 10 each. In the end, we get even better sound with only one speaker. Take off bass linings, and here it's pretty thick rubberized. Next, battery also improved. Huge, 7.5000 milliamps, comparing with 6000 on old one. Now, we put back everything back and test it under water to see our assembly. Speaker shaking, water flows, and it seems like it works. If you enjoyed this episode, then write in the comments what other things we can disassemble. We need your help.